all right hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do a quick small tutorial for you on how to do an easy gel nail design using hard builder gel and also uh, by making a little cloud sky design so i'm just starting off by buffing my uh fake tip here in order to allow the gel polish uh, the base coat to stick to it a lot better and then uh this you'd want to do before you do any type of uh, nail design that requires a builder gel or gel on top just because it gets rid of that shine coat and any excess oils. Alright, so now I'm just going to go in with my base coat, the Tomica base coat from Amazon. It's uh, pretty cheap. It came in a pack of two with the base coat and top coat. I believe for about $20 or so, I'm not sure, uh, but it's pretty easy to find on Amazon and I find it works really, really well as a base coat. So I'm just going to cure this for about 60 seconds to really make sure it's set in place, even though you really only do it for about 30 seconds. So now I'm just going in with my builder gel from IBD. It's from Sally Beauty. I believe it's about $20 to $25. And I'm just doing a thin layer of this first before I go in with the colored layer, um, the so-called jelly polish that I'm going to create using the builder gel and some uh, colored gel polish. Alright, so after being happy with the application that I have, I'm just going to cure it for about 90 to 99 seconds. And just a heads up, I did lose some footage between now and putting the cloud design on. So I'm just going to input a small video clip showing how I did the jelly uh gel polish i guess you could call it by using the ibd gel so here i just take some gel polish color whatever color you want to use and then you take clear uh, builder gel and you mix it with the gel polish once you mix it with the gel polish it creates this very thick looking uh gel polish i guess kind of like that jelly effect and it makes it very translucent which is nice so you just take that and you apply it onto the nail however you want and that's basically the effect that i got in order to uh, get the background that i have for the cloud um, and then you'll see later on in this video i ended up touching up the cloud so you'll be able to see how i applied the cloud uh, I do apologize again for my camera completely whacking out and me missing a lot of the importance to the video, uh, but I hope this gives you a general idea as to what I did do. So this was the first step after me doing my whole builder gel and then going in with the clouds. So now I'm just doing a quick filing of the nail before I go ahead and add the uh, gel builder on top as just a kind of seal in. A reason to stay Standing in the pouring rain Alright, and so here I'm just wiping off that extra layer of stickiness and then just going in and touching up the clouds by dabbing in with a rounded brush on the white polish, just dabbing some clouds in. As you can see, my technique is just a lot of dabbing. You can also use a cotton uh, Q-tip for this. It works really well. I just didn't have one on hand. But you just do that over and over until you're happy. And now I'm just doing a quick top coat as well. So after I sealed that in, I also wanted to go in and add a bit of glitter to the clouds itself. So I just went in and did that on my own. Um, this shows you what it looks like once it's cured without any glitter. So it's very plain. And then this is what it looks like with the glitter on the clouds, which I did like. And then I just sealed that with a last top coat as well. And that's the same Tomica top coat from Amazon. And yeah, just sealed that in and make sure it was all smooth and shiny. So now I'm just going in for a final cure, which is going to be 60 seconds. All right, and so this is what the final product looks like. I really did enjoy making this video and working on this nail. It's really easy and really pretty, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe for more videos, and yeah, 
I hope you have a good day. Bye.